Okay, so, um, I have started having, uh, seizure auras, um, and people are like, what is that? So, a basic definition, just real simple, is it means I can feel a seizure coming on, but only with my convulsive ones, not with my other ones, and, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, for me, it's almost like a gut feeling, like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a seizure, and they call that a seizure aura. Um, so, here's like some symptoms. For me, it's like my whole body goes from feeling normal to feeling like not normal. So, I don't know if that makes sense, but my whole body just gets like maybe crawly, something tingly. Yeah, tingly. That's that's a. I don't even think that's a word, but. Um, so epileptic seizures with auras and what they feel like, um, they might include changes to your thoughts, senses, or awarenesses, um, flashing lights, flickering lights, blurry vision, dark spots, partial vision loss, seeing hallucinations, um, you might see stuff, a feeling of deja vu, panic, or detachment, hearing voices, buzzing, ringing, I mean, there are so many different things. Um, nausea, an unpleasant stomach feeling, which that I guess that's kind of what I get. Like an unstomach, pleasant stomach feeling, and um, numbness or numbness or tingling. That's yeah, lightheadedness, headache. Um, you can the you, your smells can change. Like an unusual, typically unpleasant smell. Sudden, acidic, bitter, salty, sweet, or metallic taste. Uh, or it can be like a strong emotion like joy, sadness, fear, or anger out of the blue. And then you're like, oh, I'm having an aura. I'm about to have a seizure. Well, when you have these auras, you don't always have the seizure. Like for me today, um, I started having an aura. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to have a seizure. I cannot have a seizure. So I laid down with the, with the, oh gosh, I'm having some obstinate seizures. So I laid down in my bed because if I was going to convulse, I wanted safety. Like I didn't want to hurt myself. And I just was like praying against the seizure. I was like, God, don't let me have a seizure. You know, I've been four days convulsive free. I believe in that. This is going to be the fifth day that I'm going to be convulsive free. And, um, I was just dealing with this tingly feeling all over my body and I wasn't freaked out or anything. I, when I have these, I take eight long breaths in, like just lots of breaths in, lots of breaths out to keep from having a panic attack because if I let the aura get to me, like, I will have a panic attack, and, um, I just lay flat and kind of imagine water rushing over me, and, um, sometimes it only lasts, like, two minutes, and today it lasted, like, an hour of me just getting this feeling of, like, oh my goodness, it's coming, and it didn't, like, it didn't happen, but it was an hour of me just laying in bed. So it's more, for me, like, it's unpleasant, and um, if I don't keep my wits about me and keep my um, head on straight as best to my ability, I will panic, and panic will typically bring on a seizure like it's like oh my gosh I'm, I'm gonna have a seizure I'm gonna have a seizure and then what happens I have a seizure so I try to keep my wits about me and I'm like okay this is happening I'm gonna take deep breaths and I'm going to be like no seizures and um, that's basically what happens today except so some sometimes uh, it's like um, they last like an hour and they can be um, partial, um, 
partial seizures. Like, it's like I kind of had a seizure but didn't. Um, and the treatment for seizures with auras. It says there are many treatments for epilepsy. I haven't actually read this article. It's just popped up on the um, website for people with like seizure auras. Um, most people can control seizures with anti-seizure drugs, which I'm trying to do, but it's, you know. Your doctor will work with you to come up with the best medicine or combination of drugs to enter seizures with the fewest side effects. Um, and as y'all know, I have a lot of side effects, so um, the doctor was just kind of like upping the drugs that are safe for me, and it was making my side effects really bad, so now we're lowering that. Um, knowing that you have auras gives your doctor a better idea of what type of uh, seizure meds you can be put on. Um, he can help choose medicines that work better for those specific seizures. So he already knows what um, types of seizures I have. These seizure auras um, are non-epileptic, and that doesn't even like make sense. They're still seizures, but they're just not epileptic seizures. But I still do have that tingly body feeling, and um, it when it hits, it's like I don't. I can't explain it. Um, it. When I, I guess I'm with you, or if I'm gonna have a seizure, and I suddenly just like burst out and say, "Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna have a seizure. I need to sit down." Like my mom last night, same thing happened. I was like, "I feel, I feel an aura. I think I'm gonna have a seizure." And she, we were on a walk on concrete. Okay, best scenario. So she goes, okay, uh, start walking in the grass. Once we get to, you know, around Lauren's house, I'll, I'll drive you home and everything will be okay. And I'm like, no, I just want to keep walking. <laughs> and she was like, you're, you're kind of risking your health right now. And um, I said, I think I'll be fine until we get to my house, back to our house. And then we got back to our house and I just kind of laid down for a little bit. Um, but... A seizure aura can sometimes be called a focal aware seizure, so it's like, I don't, yeah, that's, that's the best I can explain it. Um, there are videos of seizure auras, um, like for me, if, I, if mom were to video me having a seizure aura, it would literally just me laying in bed or something um, because my auras are just a tingly feeling and a um, kind of a gut feeling you know uh, you've heard of like woman's intuition well for any women out there who have had that like gut feeling of like something's wrong something's you know something's not right here um, that's yeah that's that's what my aura feels like um and they can be caused it's, it's basically just a warning that's telling your body like hey you're about to go through something and um everyone's auras are different everyone's body is different um my doctor said i am in a category of my own um, he said he has, he has like tons of patients, but he said I'm like in his top five most, uh, I guess difficult cases as far as like my brain is just very, very unique, works very differently. The, uh, studies they've done on these kinds of seizures and on what it's doing, he's like in the... Okay, you have like a percentage. That's what I'm looking for. I don't fall into any of the high percentages. Like, so say they test 10 people, nine people get fixed, one person does not get fixed. I'm in that percentage, and they don't know why that person didn't get better, but the other 90 people or nine people did. 
and that's how it is with every type of seizure and so when I'm at the doctor or whatever and I'm explaining like what's going on they're like I only know of like two other cases that I'm working on that that's going on with and we don't know what to do with them either so it's like uh, they call it a hit and miss with me um, they just try a bunch of different things until they find something that works or that helps so like I said um, it's just for me a gut and tingling sensation and I'm pretty chill when I say I feel one coming on so people around me kind of freak out and they're like what and I understand that but um, the worst thing you can do is freak out because I need some calmness going on around me and you may like I just need calm in order for the seizure order to go away because I can't stay calm if the people I'm with are freaking out because I I'm feeding off of that um, energy I guess so it's like I'm trying to keep myself calm so I can't do two jobs at once I can't keep me and you calm like it's it's a, it's a trip so um, there are, there's way more there's like so much information on auras I, I can't cover it in a, sh in a video like but I did my research pretty pretty well and some people have them some people don't um, and I'm in that short category. Well, a lot of people have auras, but not a whole lot of people have auras for non-epileptic seizures. And I happen to be in that percentage. So, of people who do. So like, yeah, it's, it, it's nice because, you know, it's like, I don't particularly like the feeling, but it's like, okay, gotta get somewhere soft. My body's about to go wacko and uh like 80 percent of the time it doesn't 20 percent of the time it does so it's like just like i get this feeling it's unpleasant and i'll just sit down or something and then it goes away so yeah thank you for your prayers and um yes i've never posted a video of me having like a bad convulsive seizure because I don't want, I, I, I don't want like, people seeing that and then it's just, it's just a thing, so. Um, but if you ever want to know what a convulsive seizure looks like, you can search it up. Um, I just don't want people saying what mine look like. Um, cause it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> and I think it would make other people uncomfortable, so. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching this scatterbrained video. Much love.